So in all intents and purposes, we should in fact be well streaming and everything should be sorted. No technical difficulties today. So what are we doing here? Oh yes, I remember. Let's go back to our journal. Uh, yes, we need to go deal with the rogue hand of Alamixia. Right, or Alamixia, whatever you want to pronounce it. Now to me a bit of a problem, but I need to remember where that man is. Where is he? Let's see. I don't actually know. So let's go back to her herself, shall we? So, what way is the way? That is to the plaza, goes to the bazaar. I mean, the bazaar, bloody hell. Justice. Okay, it's uh, basically a bazaar, bazaar, basically the same thing. Both of them contain giant wads of fat, basically. And this goes to the temple courtyard where the giant midget man is trying to kill me. I think. Yes, there he is. So, apparently, uh, yeah, I mean, there's a few things of this man. I won't be able to actually kill him unless I find some way to wedge myself somewhere. Why? Because he's a melee person. He is. And the best thing about melee people is they have no range. And more effectively, they don't jump. So if I can find some way, oh, some way indeed, to just, like, fling myself, which I don't seem to be, then yes. Also, I'd like to say, today's session will be a bit more blind on my part, mainly because it's, well, what again? It's, one second, where is it? There it is. Yes, so according to my weather app on my phone, it is currently 28 degrees Celsius, which is basically around about 80 degrees Fahrenheit. And right now my screen is covered in a giant sun glare. It's a bit strange for six o'clock in the evening to be a giant sun glare, but it is summertime. So yes, I will be slightly blinded than normal. And if those caring about my health, I am slightly, well, actually better than normal. I actually am well, as I would say. My throat is still a bit iffy, you might be able to tell. However, I am actually a lot better than I was before. Now, I may or may not be able to enchant. Enchanting would require a lot from me. It would. It would require a lot, because the, to do the, what is it, the enchanting thing I wanted to do, which is enchant my armor to be something decent, perhaps some, have some nice constant effects, perhaps. Morning. Like some regeneration, perhaps. You never know what might be useful. However, the problem with that is, well, let's just say... I don't have an enchanting skill very high right now. If you look at it, it's only six. Now, that's really based upon the soul gems you have. And I would also have to enchant a lot. What I mean by that is, I have to go and grind soul gems and I have to kill a lot of golden saints since golden saints have the best normal soul that you can actually get. So that's something I won't be able to do. That was a bit of a dream I had last time, but sadly it's simply just not a thing. Anyway, yes, uh, we're going to talk to her about the Rogue Blade, yes. Tell me about him, where is he? Yes, but where is he? That's the most important question here. If you don't tell me where he is, then we have a problem. I think we have a problem. Right, am I going to have to look this up? I most likely am. All right, I'm already about six minutes in to the stream and I'm already looking tank up. Hooray! <laughs> Oh, God, please help me. Okay, so let's have a look here. It's this one. Where is he? Ah, I have to go talk to someone, apparently. Okay, so I have to go talk to someone. All right, fair enough. Uh, hi, uh, how do I stop talking to you again? I just have to just do this, of course. So let's, uh, where's the way out? I'm absolutely blind. I believe it's this door, isn't it? Yes, no, that's not the door. But hey, it might lead me out another way, perhaps. Maybe. You see, the game is naturally dark, and with sun glare, it just becomes even darker. And it's a bit of a problem in that regard. Get out the bloody candle. Right, so we have to go talk to Fedris, I believe his name is. Or Fedris, whatever. Fed up man, I don't know, whatever you want to call it, really. Office of the Lord Archcanon. 
Okay, I'm just going random places. I'm not gonna lie. Justice I... never. Seen. Yes, justice demands retribution. I know, I know. Hello. Uh, is this you? No, yes, you're Gavis. You're Gavas. Reception area. There we go. Where's the bald prick? More there you are. Right. Tell me about this rogue hand. Let's see. Do you know him at all? Will you tell me? Uh, it doesn't seem so. Right. right I guess I just have to go looking for him, I guess. All right, fair enough. I clean this temple, Sarah. Mind you keep it that way. Well, you're gonna have a bit of a tough luck with all the ash outside. Do you have do you have eyes? No, you're blind. Oh. Well, I guess never mind. You might, might not be able to see the ash. But anyway, I gotta be careful about midget. That midget is impossible to kill. Unless you are like level 50 and you have high enchants and stuff like that, it's almost impossible to do it. Because he has like 500 luck. And luck? Well, he also has resist against magic and mainly damage and reflect and all of that. He's ridiculously overpowered. Right, let's go to God's Reach, as everyone seems to be in God's Reach. Well, the other guy was in there, wasn't he? So let's just look around, because he looked like one of these higher ordinators, didn't he? I think he did. Take care, stranger. If not, then I'm going to go to the bazaar or bazaar, the place containing a lot of fat. Now, the one thing I'm a bit worried about in general, I'm not going to lie about, is... Oh. So, you're her new dog. I may be a dog. Woof, woof, give me a bone. And I want your bone. So, I'm going to try and do something here. Because this is a very, very tough fight. Like, this is a fight that I probably won't win, no matter what I do, because I'm a giant scrub. I'm going to try and just do a little bit of hiding and then pit pocket the poor man. Now, the reason why I want to do that is mainly because, hey, he has a interesting sword. A sword that would render me... Well, to basically put it bluntly, I would be very, very pathetic if he tried to hit me with it. Maybe she's right. Please be blind. Right, so that's this one. Her ebony scimitar, or scimitar, however you want to pronounce it. Frost damage, absorb strength, damage strength, damage fatigue. That's right. Yes, he, uh, let's be honest, he will absolutely maul me. He really will. And unless I steal this from him, well, I have no way to win. So what we're gonna do is... I'll deal with you. Yeah, that's what I thought. And now I am most likely dead. See how quickly he's dominating me. Yes, so that's how a fight would normally go out if I tried to fight him. Tried, the word is. So I need to go up to him and steal that scimitar because I'm a hundred sneaky power. Yes. Oh god, this is going to take a bit, isn't it? Yes, yes it is. Oh god. Hi. Arrested. Nope, that didn't go well. Now the thing is, if I also get his blade, that blade will be amazing. For me, literally, it'd be the greatest thing ever. I never have to worry about my strength dying in the slightest. And that is also a very powerful weapon, and probably you sell for a pretty penny. So one thing I'm going to do before I do anything more, is just simply wait for the nice lovely bag of pier. The one that tells me, hey, no one knows where I am. However, I'm sure this being right here is quite perceptive, so I need to probably sneak away quite a bit. Quite a bit indeed. Oh, this is going to be a problem. Actually, did I get rid of that shadow shield? I think I might have got rid of that shadow shield. Right, let's just have a look what spells I actually have, perhaps. Do I have anything that, uh, let's just see. I have levitate. Yeah, I got rid of that invisibility thing. If I had the invisibility thing... 
I perhaps wouldn't... Yeah, but I needed inventory space. I kind of got a bit sick of just... Being overrated all the time. Perhaps the shop is still selling it. Ooh! That might be something I should really go check. Maybe. But I'll check that in a short bit. Yes, a short bit indeed. Please give me a bloody ebony sword. Please. I know it's like 40 weight and... Yep, there we go. Alright, let's try and see if... The merchant, I forget who had it, I forget if it was the armor or the pawnbroker, it's one of them two, still have my shadow shield. If not, this might be a bit of a problem. Well, I'll be right back, don't mind me, I'll be back to talk to you later, but at least we now know where he is. That's the main thing now, isn't it? If we didn't know where pointy-headed man that was shiny in the giant ass storm, then we have a problem, don't we? Yes, yes, we do. God, it's so dark with the ash storm going on. Justice never sleeps. Right, so I need to go find the plaza. No, is it the plaza? No, no. I don't know. No, the bazaar. The bazaar. I need to go find the bazaar. I need to find the bra. I think this should be it. Should be. Fingers crossed. Yes, it is. Great. Very dark, isn't it? Yes, yes it is. Can I just jump over here, please? God, there we go. So, police say that that's the magic shop. That's the armory. Please have my magical shield here. Please, oh please, oh please. Uh, Barter, uh, do you have my magical... You do have... No, you have... Okay, you do have the stuff I gave you. There it is. Uh, how much is it? It is... Uh, does, oh, 2,000? I can afford that. Yeah, okay, I'll buy it, don't worry. Let's see, what can I give you in return? What crap can I give you? Uh, I could probably give... Not give you gold brand. That is definitely something I don't want to give you. How much is that again? Oh yeah, 30,000. There's no way in hell you'll be able to give me the amount of money that I want for that. Let's see here. Ooh! I, that's not a, oh, it's a bracer, never mind. Actually, one more wearing for the other hand. I could probably wear it for a bit more armor. I could. That's a good point. Yes. Is it my left hand or is it my right hand? I think it's my left hand. Are they both left? No, the one's right, one's left. Let's just try out, nevertheless. Uh, da, 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 da. I could probably get some pauldrons. That would probably be useful, wouldn't it? Nice. Now, with that, let's... Oh, I'll get 9,000 now of it. I think that's perfect. Hey! Yes, thank you very much. Right, let's put on my new fancy armor. Hey! It actually is fancy. And I can actually wear it. Now, the real question is, am I still wearing Wraithguard? I am. I just got rid of my extravagant glove. So if I pull out my sword, I have Wraithguard in that hand. I have my glass one. It has a glass bracier. Nice. But I also have my invisibility shield. Because if I go down to here, let's see here. Yep, the invisibility shield. Gives invisibility for 20 seconds. Right, that is incredibly useful because in the powers of sneaking, that is something I will desperately need. Yes, yes it will. So, I may or may not be able to steal it. If I am not able to steal it, then this will most definitely be the toughest fight so far in the game. And that's not a joke either, that will be one of the toughest fights I would ever have in this game. Uh, actually, that's, that's a bit of a stretch, actually. It's probably... Mm, yeah, it might be one of the toughest fights. Well, actually, I haven't encountered anyone in enchanted armor the entire game, have I, really? So, actually, it would be the toughest fight, but probably not the toughest fight in the entire game for me. As I think the end of this expansion will be harder. I think. But hey, what do I know, right? We'll see what happens, I guess. I also learned, by the way, that I am actually underpowered for this part of the expansion. That is right. Around this expansion, they expect you to be nearly level 30. I'm nowhere near level 30, 
Which means I'm gonna have to rank up a lot of my main stuff. Which means a lot of flirting, some type of uh, pick locking, and of course, shooting things no over and over again. Right, let's do a quick save, just so, hey, we just need to find the poor man before we take everything he ever wants and Your loved. Right, so first thing we want to do is this lovely shield just go bink. So now I'm invisible. So now that I'm invisible, it should be easier. There he is. He's all the way down there. Now, if I stand still, just for a small period of time, well, until the buff starts flashing in by the minimap down there, maybe I'll be. Hey! Okay, I need to do it now. Nope! You don't see me! At all! Right, turns out! Uh, that didn't work quite how I really wanted it to. But at least we now know where he is and we have the invisibility and we have as much armor as we could possibly have. But somehow, I still think it's still going to go poorly. But hey, this is how it's going to go. If we can't do it like this, then we have one of the biggest problems ever. Really, honestly. So he's practically just around this corner. Now, if I'm invisible, he won't like be able to tell doors, where I am. Sound like I am rather slow while invisible. That's the problem. Well, while crouching, I should say, really. Right, let's do that. Of course, he's all the way down there. Let's just hope my invisibility lasts for that long. As you can see, I am crouching and transparent. And I have got a hunter sneaking, so hopefully I can. That is quite nope. Enough. That didn't go how I wanted it to. Oh, now I'm invisible. I had to be seen by him in the first place to be invisible, apparently. So what I'm probably going to do is, for the people on YouTube, I'll probably cut all of this out until... I have very much got his sword, or found a way to defeat him in a legitimate manner. That's the real thing. You're really. on your honor. Don't press your luck. Look, I'm trying to sneak around. Please don't talk to me. Walk in Mournhold's light, sir. Right. If I just quick save here, right. Shadow shield. Let's have it actually selected. Save again, just to make sure. Now what I'm doing... Ah, right. So I am now invisible. Great. Now let's try and just pickpocket him. You're nope, that didn't go too well. That didn't go too well at all. I don't know if this will actually be possible. I'm not going to lie. Right, so let's just wait for the sign to be like, hey, no one knows where I am, type thing. So now he's walking towards me. I really don't want to fight you. I really don't. Not that bloody sword of yours. Just a waiting game now. Just a waiting game, just to wait for the game to be like, Hey! He doesn't see you! I am 
honestly very much surprised that people still know I'm here. I'm not gonna lie. I'm very much surprised at this. Am I still wearing a glove? I am, but apparently just... Oh, it's a bracer, not a glove. That's why. Okay. I am crouching. Yes, I am most definitely crouching. It's just for some reason... People just know... I'm okay, now... Okay, so now I'm not invisible. Well, I mean, now I'm invisible to the common eye. <sighs> now I just need to do the invisibility thing and try and grab the scimitar. Actually, now I need to try and find him. That's actually a good point, actually. Where did he go? You two have seen me, that's be fine. <laughs> You're not the man I'm looking for. Where, oh, where would he be? Let's see here. Did he, I thought he walked up here, but apparently, no. No, he did not. Oh, there he is! Right! There he is. Okay, so if I, once again, go invisible... Ugh! <laughs> oh. Alright, so bloody long! There must be an easier way to do this, right? There must be. There must be, like, there, there must be an easier way to steal that scimitar, right? Because I just do this and just do yes, that, he just, he just wrecks me. And this isn't me just trying to hit him normally, so... Hmm. Hmm. What we'll do is we'll just keep trying to pickpocket him. We'll just keep trying. That doesn't work. So it's literally three hits, and I'm dead. Uh. Hmm. Okay, so what I'm going to do is... Speak well of me, Sarah. Well, just to try... Actually, is it a pickpocketing skill, or is it just... Sneak? Let's just see here. Yeah, sorry. Sneak is just the normal thing. And since it's a hundred, it should, quote-unquote, work. Should. Take care, stranger. So maybe if I save here... And wait here for a bit until no one anywhere can actually see me. Yes, I am sneaking. Good, good. Just want to make sure. Just waiting for time to go by. Hello, Master Halls! Right now, we're just waiting for our stealth to actually go up and not be seen by anyone. And then we're going to try, the word is try, and pickpocket this incredibly strong warrior's sword. Right now, I'm just going to try it now because I'm impatient. Not going to lie. Right, let's go up to you. And grab that. And that. No, that didn't work. Well, there goes me. Do that, just to make sure. So we can steal the potion, but the reason why it's ridiculous is look at that stat. If he just slashes me, so that's basically a horizontal slash, that's practically just, let's just see, 60 damage per hit, and I only have like 180 ma maximum. So, three hits, bink. So, yes. You're finished. Right, so I can take something from him, but it's going to be a bit difficult. 
Maybe. Oh, maybe. Oh, maybe. What we could do is stuff some stuff on him. <laughs> Literally put some stuff on him and then take it. Then he won't notice the weight's gone. Maybe. Let's just quickly reload that because I thought I was crouching, but apparently no. No, I was not. You see, I'm not really familiar with pitpocketing system of Morrowind. But yes, yes. But the damage is ridiculous, mainly because, well, let's be honest, he is a servant of a god. So, yes. That is a thing. Right, so if I take this from you, are you going to be angry? No, you're not. You're not going to be angry. If I put that on you... Oh. That is quite enough, even. I don't know. That's just not going to happen. The thing that bothers me is that I can pick up the potion, however, I can't pick up the sword. That actually does bother me quite a bit. I'm not going to lie about it in the slightest. Don't walk away from me. Come back here. So if I take the potion from you, you're not angry. Okay. But if you take that, you you get angry. Yeah. Hmm. I mean, there is one other way I could try and beat him. Honestly. Okay, so obviously that's just not going to work. Let's just be honest right here. That's not going to work how I want it to work. So what I'm going to have to do is do an even cheaper method. Yes, I'm going to have to do an even cheaper method. I do want to do this, but if I have to, I have to. I want to have a little bit of fun, but sadly fun is not in this game's repertoire. You know what I mean. The game doesn't know how to have fun. Oh, levitation magic does not work here. Oh. Right, so that cancels that out, I guess. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Let's just try this. Because he's going to be stuck on the ground right there. Apparently being able to hit me up on the... Wow, you have some range, sir. So this is the only way I can actually do it legitimately. Is to... Okay, you're in the... I'll... You know, I'm gonna resist the rest. Your pain is nearing an end. Yes, I'm just trying to kill this man because this man is incredibly deadly. <clears throat> right, I managed to actually get one hit on him. It's gonna take a while. What about gold brands? Gold brands, where are you? Where are you, my nice, lovely sword? There you are. Alright. Nope, that, that does lead to my death. One second, I'm going to just quickly look up to see if I can pickpocket him. Right, so that's a slight issue. I won't be able to do that method, sadly. That method I'm looking up right there was... Hey! Someone tried... Hey, I'm going to get a lot of magic. That's right, magic. Something that this character doesn't do very well. Uh... I actually might not just be able to fight him, honestly. I'm going to try taking off all my clothes. Now, not in real life, sadly, but I mean in, like, in the game. Take off all my clothes and just try and pitbox him then. Right, so everything off. Right, let's just put everything on the ground for the time being and try this. Hello, militants. How are you doing? So right now, we're just trying to pickpocket someone because I have no other way to defeat this man. Now, that is an absolute truth, if I've ever said one before. Now, I say it's a truth because 
he is incredibly powerful. Now, I'm not just saying that. I mean, I literally have no way to defeat him. He's incredibly powerful, literally. So I'm going to become naked and trying to lower my equipment load. And that way, hopefully, he just won't notice me. Indeed, something about a cake and the lack of cake. And hopefully about the pitboxing of this man. I'm going to keep that shield. That's the shield's going to be the only thing I'm going to keep. Let's get rid of these. All these hammers need to go away. Just put three pillows on the ground at the Star of Azura. These scrolls down, because I won't need them. This man will, in fact, be pickpocketed. If he likes it or not, it's gonna happen, alright? Get rid of these arrows. Put that there, put that there. I've got these rubies and emeralds. That's a huge ruby and emerald. Honestly, that's consuming my entire screen. I think it's becoming a giant pile on the ground. If only there was a dump all button. If only. If only. Because I think this is how stealth works this game, is the amount you have on you, I think. I could be completely and utterly mistaken by that, but hey! Alright, so let's just... Oh my god. <laughs> that is amazing. Just look at that giant pile all balancing on that one bottle. That is honestly one of the best things I've ever seen in my life. So what we're going to do is do another quick save. Go invisible and try this again. And hopefully he won't care about the naked Argonian right behind him trying to steal his very sword. That is if he stops moving away from me. Can you please stop moving away? Get your ass back here. You're cheating. You're not allowed to cheat. No, nope, that's no, no, don't punch. Now he's definitely going to see me. Okay, can you stop walking backwards and forwards? Right, can I steal his potion from you? I can. Can I steal a scimitar? No, I cannot. Right. Okay, hopefully, now he'll stop moving a lot, and he'll stay still long enough for me to be like, Hey, that's a very nice scimitar you have there. He's moving again. Come on, you. I need to steal your scimitar to make you actually fightable. There you go. Nope. That didn't work too well. Let me just quickly check something. I am thinking how stealth actually works in Morrowind correctly, right? Uh, let me just check. Sneak. Oh, right. Uh, apparently, um, yes. So apparently, pitboxing does not take your stat into proper consideration, or well, in proper consideration properly, uh, making p uh, successful pitboxing incredibly difficult, regardless of your skill. <laughs> oh. Why? That's just not right. Alright. So it might just be a very, 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 very low chance to get this done. Yes. Oh dear. It's going to get done, alright, because there's no legitimate way I can fight this man. If so, 
that might actually be this expansion unplayable for me. And that's how it's going to go, sadly. Sadly, it's like... The game normally calculates stealth in this game through your elusiveness, which is your distance to the target mixed with your agility and your stealth modifier, and your luck, of course. And then you have spot chance, which is the exact same thing. Where is he? Oh, he's over there. I'm so used to him just running around. Right. Fingers. Nope. Thief. Uh, I've tried in invisibility magic. I actually have, and sadly, I have still nothing. The thing that bothers me the most is that I can't steal the sword. However, I can steal the potion that he has. I said, I think it might be a weight thing. I really do. That is quite enough. I may actually have to do a bit more research on this issue we're having here. Oh, right. I think I discovered why it's uh, a problem. Okay, so apparently one of the uh, bigger issues is luck. My luck is only 40. So, let's literally just chuck everything I own onto the ground. Literally everything. Because if I don't do everything, then we have a uh, weight on us. And weight is something that we need not to have. Because the way it's done is weight, sneak, luck. In any terminology, really. Right, so we have zero weights, we have 40 luck and 100 sneak. So it's a pure luck chance right now to if we get off him or not. I should probably have saved before I started to do this, really. And if not, that means I need to go get a fortified luck spell, so yes. Rest in faith. Yeah, so. I mean, you can kind of see the damage I'm doing to myself as well. So, yes, that man I literally cannot flat out kill. No matter what I try to do, just flat out no. So, I won't be able to do this expansion, and if I won't be able to do this expansion, I definitely won't be able to do the Blood Moon expansion, which requires me to be at least level 40 to do. Which is not a joke either. I literally have to be level 40 to actually even think about doing that expansion. So, I'm just going to progress the game and pretend like, hey, you know. I'm just taking all of this because I can. So, sadly, this expansion, I'm just going to have to call it there. I was hoping I would be able to defeat the man, but, uh, yeah, just apparently big, giant, nope. Alright, so let's put on some magical gear, shall we? Let's put that on. My exquisite robes, my exquisite skirts. Can I wear some pants as well? I can. My exquisite shirt. I can't wear a glove because that removes the bracer. Yes, it does. So I can't wear any gloves, which is a bit of a shame. I have my trousers. I have... Let's put that on. Because I can. Let's put that belt on. Because I can. And yes, that is that. Okay, so... We have to say goodbye to the Mornhold, and sadly, we won't be back here. And sadly, we won't be able to do the Moon... Uh, what is it? Blood Moon expansion, I think it is, or something like that. The other one, which requires me to go... Where is it? Over here. Because to do that, as I said before, I need to be level 40. And regarding I'm not even level 30, yeah, that's going to be a bit of an issue. I mean, I could probably grind up some enchantments... And stuff like that off screen. However, regarding we're practically at the end of the game and all of that, it would be only pointless to do it for like two fights. That's right, we would only be needed for two fights in the entire of this expansion anyway. 
I don't know if we need to fight. I don't know anything about the main game itself. I haven't really looked that up, really, or asked anyone about it. But sadly, that's just generally how it is. So sadly, that is that.